All right, today we're gonna do a video on how to build a sawhorse. Quick and easy, these aren't real fancy, nothing high quality, but if you need a sawhorse in a hurry, this is the answer. I just built them out of scrap wood, so I mean, it's nothing perfect, but uh, nothing worse than not having anything to set your stuff on. Okay, tools that you're gonna need. A drill of some sort, deck screws, basic, carpenter's glue, a speed square, a level, a marking pencil, and a saw. Some people won't have the luxury of a miter saw, but uh, you got to use a hand saw or a circular saw, that's probably fine, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a miter saw. Okay, so I've pre-cut most of the wood here. I got my four legs, my two cross braces, and right there is our top. You could use a 2x6 top, but I mean, I didn't have enough scrap 2x6, and I didn't want to use a good one, so I used a 2x4. 2x6 would be wider to make you get one. Okay, so I'm going to grab these and show you how to build one of the basic A-frame legs. Okay, these are cut on the bottom at 22 and a half degree angle, so it's perpendicular or flush with the floor. So when it's on the floor, it's like that. Now these, we need to cut them at a 45 at the top, which I'll show you in just a minute and uh, you'll see why. So come over to the saw, we'll cut one of these to a 45 degree angle. Just put it in here. Okay, this is a miter saw. If you look in the top here, there's settings, numbers, it's your angles. So this 22 and a half is right here. That's the angle I used for the, the bottoms, which uh, I can just show you that too. Just I won't cut it, it all, it's already dead. I'll just show you that's, that's a 22 and a half degree angle. So you just put her in there, saw set, but we're doing a 45 right now. So as you can see, if you look down in here, it's set to 45 and just make sure your miter saw locks into place. And this one, you want to cut it right across here on the back side. So I'm going to show you on my speed square. Put your speed square on there like this, right to the end. And you got a 45. The saw does that for you. It's going to be noisy for a second. Put your wood in, hold it in place. Okay, now let's see why I did that. That is so you can butt it up like this. It makes a nice flush. This is flat to put your wood on after. Got your 22 and a half degree angles on the bottom so it sits on the floor nice. Just want to make sure you got that squared up. And we're going to put it together. I have been drilling a hole where my screws are going to go because this wood isn't brand new. It's a little old. It's kind of brittle. It could split if you put the screw in too fast. If you're using brand new lumber, I don't know that you'd have to bother with the pilot hole. But in this case, we need to bother. So I'm just going to drill two holes where the screws go. Put a bit back in for our screws. This is just a Robertson glue. There's no real science to it. 
Just put some on the mating surface. There, that works better actually on the floor. Then you can kind of square it up where it would sit. One, set it out. And then I've got my pre-cut top. These saw horses, you can make these any height. These are lower. That's just the way I want them, but you could make them higher or whatever. These have 30 inch legs. So, but you can, whatever height you want. You could make them wider or whatever. The dimensions are entirely up to you. Put that on there like that. Have more than we need. And I just kind of tried to eyeball these up, get them half straight. Four screws in the top. Just to make them a little sturdier. Okay, we'll throw it up on the table and put our cross braces in for it. Just flip her upside down. is going to be 22 and a half again. And you just got to get it so your angles are like this to each other. And these are no particular size or anything. I just I make one and copy the other. The longer they are probably the lower it will be, more sturdy maybe. This, you just drop it right in here like this. It's pretty basic. Get it in there nice and tight like that. I'm going to copy this one over here. So we've got two. This isn't the perfect way of doing it, but I mean, we're building the software, so gotta watch. It doesn't have to be perfect.
the bench or use it, you know. Cutting a piece of wood or whatever, a home renovation. There's lots of different reasons you might need a sawhorse. And these are easy. It takes about an hour to build at the most. Providing you got some scrap wood laying around, you could buy wood. Too expensive. If you wanted them to be a little more stable, you could put a piece of wood across here like this. And it would give it some more strength, but these seem pretty solid as it is, so I think that'll be more than enough. So Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Man, I'm awesome.